hi everyone welcome back to another DIY tutorial today is a beautiful day right here and I hope you all are doing great so if you're new to my channel you are very welcome my name is Julera and if you're my returning subscriber you are also welcome I love you guys all and um, thank you for sticking around um, in today's video we are going to be making this top or the jacket you see me putting on this is a tutorial request okay so for those of you who request for this tutorial this video is for you please make sure you watch and help me share the video as well okay so uh today we are going to be drafting the pattern we are going to be cutting and sew at the same time okay so stay tuned right so you won't miss any information and um the type of fabric you use girl i will tell you use any fabric that you like Try any fabric that you feel like is going to work for you. I think in this in this time you can use chiffon, you can use scrap, you can use Ankara, but try to get Ankara that will bring out the style. Okay, um, yeah. So anything your hand can you can lay your hand on, and the yard of fabric you will need. I will advise you to get one and a half yard for a small size person and two yard to two and a half yard for um plus size or extra size okay so that is all for this and um we are going to go into the tutorial now into the cutting table to go and draft our pattern and so so i made a tutorial for the sleeves okay if you haven't seen the tutorial the link is on the description box and for the um, for the palazzo pant okay if you haven't seen the tutorial also the link is also there so you can just make them and use it as two piece you understand so yeah that is it so let's go into the tutorial now so we are going to start by drafting at the front pattern the first thing you need is your marker pen your tape roll your pattern paper and your french cord roller if you don't have a french cord roller you can use any other roller okay so i'm starting here by drawing at my starting point which is going to become my shoulder line and also i'm creating a guideline here from the center front okay So once I'm done, I'm going to start now by taking out my marking my vertical measurement from my shoulder to my bust point is 9.5 inches. Take your measurement, find out where your bust point, the length of your bust point before you mark. Okay, don't use my measurement. <laughs> this is my measurement. Okay, the next measurement is going to be from my shoulder to my waistline or from my shoulder to my top length. So I'm using 17 inches. So this is a personal preference. I don't know how long you want yours to be or how short. At this point, you're going to determine the length you want, okay? So here is mine is 17 and I've just marked the length now. I'm going to level this. Sorry, this marker was not clear enough. So I'm going to change it a bit, but not now. So to divide your, to get your chest line, you're going to divide your bust circumference by six and then plus 1.5 inches whatever thing that gives you you are going to use it okay so mine is 8.25 so i'm going to mark the 8.25 here so that is the length of my chest yeah that is the my chest length 8.25 so i'm going to create this line now and i will label it cl for chest line so i have changed my marker pen <laughs> sorry for the first one so the next thing I will do here is to mark my shoulder line. So my shoulder is 14 divided by 2 is uh, 7. I'm going to add 1 inch for each allowance, okay? This is kind of a jacket, so you don't need to use exactly your shoulder measurement, okay? Please, add 1 inch for each allowance. So for my neck width, I will be using 3 inches for neck width, okay? And then for the neck depth, I'm going to use 3.5 inches for my neck depth okay this look a little bit kind of a jacket but it's not jacket so for you to have the free movement around your body add one inch to your shoulder measurement and uh, yeah so right now i'm going to connect my neckline okay i mark three inches neck weight and 3.5 inches neck depth okay so the next thing i will do here i will come to this line here i will mark one inch below for shoulder slope okay so I will come back to my chest line. I'm going to mark my 8 inches that I mark from the shoulder line, okay? I'm going to mark it right there. So I will get my straight ruler. I will connect it and stop at the point where 
I mark that one inches below. Okay. So as you can see, this is my shoulder. I'm going to connect it uh, my shoulder now. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to find the midpoint. Okay. So I can create my armhole. I'm going to place my tape like this and I will fold it backward like you see me doing. Okay. So I got a 3.6, so I'm going to mark a 3.6 inches there. That is the midpoint, okay? So afterward, I'm going to mark 0 0.5 inch inward. I will get my straight ruler and connect that part so that you can see it visible to you, okay? So the next, before I will connect my armhole line, I'm going to divide my bust circumference by 4, okay? I'm dividing my bust circumference by 4. My bust is 34 divided by 4 is 8.5. And then I'm adding additional 1.75 inches. So that 1.75 inches is also together with my sewing allowance, okay? So I don't need to go back again to start adding allowance. So I'm adding 1.75 um, uh, inches, okay? So I'm going to connect my armhole now. So let me uh, make this line all visible so that you can see because the first marker line, uh, marker paper, marker pen, sorry, the first marker pen was not uh, bright enough. So it was already finishing. So, so I have on my chest line 10.5 uh, inches. Okay. I'm going to just make it a round figure 10.5 inches. So I'm, I'm going to come to my waistline or my top length. Okay. For the hemming line, I'm going to mark the 10.5 inches there. So after then, I'm going to connect, connect it now with a straight line from the waistline to the chest line, just like that, okay? So now that we are done connecting this part now, so we are going to work on this, this front here. As you can see, it's as if it's a bit deep inside, right? So I'm going to be marking 1.5 inches here to create that design or the style there okay to create that style i'm marking 1.5 inches above and then i'm going to place my straight ruler like this and connect it to me to the side okay i hope you understand so this part now is not needed so this is the the, the new uh, waistline now so i'm going to come to the the front to create the v shape okay i'm going to come to my bust line here i will be marking uh, less than uh, uh, 0 0.5 inch let's say you're going to mark 0 0.3 inches okay and then i'm going to place my french uh, straight ruler from the shoulder i will connect it to me to the shoulder just like that okay and then i'll move back to my waistline please just watch carefully and say i'm going to connect it from my new waistline and meet to the point where i mark that 0 0.3 inches okay so afterward, I'm going to blend it for to eliminate those sharp edges. Or you can leave the sharp edges if you don't mind, but I just uh, blend it here. So I came in, uh, in with 0 0.3 and then I connect it to meet here. Okay, blend it. Please don't forget to blend it. And then I'm levering this one so that you know that this is the front pattern. Okay, so afterward, I'm going to add my joining allowance 0 0.5 inch from my shoulder okay and 0 0.5 inch from the front and um i will be adding all this allowance from the lower part i'm going to add a 0 0.75 okay for the lower part like so and then i don't need to add for the side because i added allowance already while i was drafting so i'm just going to mark it here so that you see it okay um i marked 0 0.5 inches that i was supposed to use but i later used uh, 0 0.75 for my joint when when i was joining it i used 0 0.75 and then from the armhole side also 0 0.5 inches okay when you're going to join your sleeves to your body okay basically this is the front pattern we are going to move on to the back pattern get your fresh uh, fresh pattern and start so i'm going to be fast here because the back is nothing serious here the only difference here is that it has a chest line but it doesn't have a bust line okay so um, I mark my chest line that 8.25 inches and then I mark my top length or from my shoulder to my waistline which is 17 inches like I did to the front, okay? And afterward, I'm levering my lines so that you see where, uh, what lines I'm working on, okay? So I'm, I'm 
I mark my shoulder measurement here that is 8 inches from the shoulder line and 8 inches for the chest line. So I'm imputing my neck width here of 3 inches. Then the back neck depth is 1 inches. Okay, the back neck depth is 1 inch. So that is the difference also for the back pattern. Okay, so after then, I'm going to get my French curve roller and create my neckline. Okay, this is the back neckline. It's 3 by 1 inch. Okay, so I will mark 1 inch for the... Uh, armhole line there to create my shoulder point and then shoulder drop okay and then i will find the midpoint in between like i did to the front and afterward i'm going to mark that 5 0 0.5 inch that i did to the front okay and then before i will connect my armhole curve again i'm going to be marking my 10.5 inches at the chest line just like i did to the front and then to the waistline, I'm marking also the 10.5 inches, okay? So that I can create my back pattern. So the back pattern has some additional adjustment, okay? But if you don't want that one, you can uh, uh, skip that part. But I want it to have a bit that kind of um, a jacket at the back to give it that a little bit shape. So I will be uh working on the back so if you don't want to do that you can just leave it at this point okay but if you want to do it um do some modification you're going to mark 0 0.75 from the waistline like you see me doing okay from the waistline you're going to mark 0 0.75 and then you're going to connect it from that 0 0.75 all the way to the neckline okay so basically that is it that is it for the back nothing serious uh, what I will do now is to add my sewing allowance just like I did to the front. Add your sewing allowance so that you can join. So in that case, when you're going to cut out your back pattern, you're going to cut it uh, into two, but you're going to join it back, okay? There is no zip at the back. You just like just to have it that, to create that shape that I was, I, I was talking about, okay? So I'm adding 0 0.5 inch all around my pattern. So when I'm going to cut it at the fabric, I don't need to start adding the sewing allowance from the fabric again okay so now the back and the front pattern is ready the next thing i will do now is to start cutting out all the unwanted part that i don't need i hope this explanation was clear for you to follow please leave, leave your comment below let me know what you think give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy watching it already <laughs> okay so yeah after this we are going to head to the or get our fabric so we can start cutting the fabric for the meantime now let me cut this one first so my pattern is ready so now let's start with the fabric so i have here the fabric that i'm going to use so this is crepe this crepe is stretch okay it's stretch like it really not that really really stretch but it's stretch and this is one and a half yard I have here, okay? So like I said, you can use any fabric of your choice. So this is my sleeves. If you haven't seen the tutorial for the sleeve, please check the link on the description box or on the comment section. The sleeve tutorial is there, okay? So you go get your sleeve ready and then you come back here for the uh, sewing, okay? So I'm going to get my fabric now. I'm going to arrange it down so that I can uh, place my pattern on top and then cut, okay? So you're going to place your fabric on fold and then you're going to get your pattern and place it like that and then cut, okay? So that is what I'm going to do right here. So this fabric actually stressed me a lot. So I could not continue cutting it on the camera. So I just went off camera and cut them. So here is my front and my back pattern, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do here, this is my sleeves, okay? I have also gone ahead to cut out my sleeve forgive me the fabric is actually stressful because i did not iron it so it was not staying in one piece so i have to cut everything off camera okay so here are my sleeves and uh, my front pattern and the back pattern so here is the sleeves okay so the next thing i'm going to do here i'm going to separate them so i also gonna ahead to prepare my bias again i'm going to make a tutorial showing you how to make a bias if you don't know how to create bias for your if you don't know how to create bias, I'm going to make a tutorial for that. 
So the width of buyer that I use, I use a uh, two yard, okay, as the width is two yard, and then the length is your preference. At the point where I was cutting, uh, after I cut out my sleeve, I noticed that I realized that the pieces that remain was not enough for me to have a, a long strap, so I just use uh, 48 inches. So that is 48. The strap that I use or the bias that I fold on my neckline is 48 inches. So here is my front pattern. Bear it in mind that this uh, this uh, this jacket does not have a lining, okay? So here is my back pattern. I'm going to join it together now. So I will go back to my sewing machine to, to join it, so to turn it to one piece, okay? So I will be pinning it down so that I can go to my sewing machine to join it together. I hope you understand my explanation. If you don't, the comment section is open for you to uh, uh, lay out your complaints, okay? So now that I'm done pinning, I will go and join it. So I have done join it with 0 0.5 inch allowance, okay? So, and also I have gone ahead to iron it. So this is how it's looking like now. It's now one piece, okay? So this is the wrong side, and then this is the right side, okay? So I will get my front uh, pieces now. I will place the right side facing the right side. This fabric, you cannot tell which one is the front and the uh, and the back because the... The similarity was so much so it was just a little bit slight different that was able to differentiate the front and the back so yeah so make sure when you find any material like that try to mark them to know which one is the front and the back so that you won't get them messed up okay so what i'm going to do right now i'm joining my shoulder first okay we're going to start with the shoulder when you place your front pieces to your back pieces the first thing you need to join first is the shoulder okay Join the shoulder first before you join the side, before you work on the neckline and all of that. So I'm going to pin it like so. I will go back to my sewing machine now and join my shoulder. I will be back. So I have done join my shoulder together. So this is how it's looking like, okay? So the next step is to face our sleeves. So in case if you're finding it difficult to fit sleeve to your bodies, this is the easiest way for you to fit sleeves to your bodies, okay? You're going to find the midpoint of your sleeve, okay? I'm going to notch it. I did not iron the sleeve, so um, they were supposed to have a crease line, okay? So I did not iron it, so I have to find the midpoint by myself. So from that midpoint, you're going to place it right side facing the right side of your body at the shoulder joining, okay? From those shoulder joining, that is where you're going to start your pinning so that you take it from the midpoint all the way to the end of the or to the side so that in any excess that left from the side you can easily trim it off okay so i'm going to repeat the same process on the other side because i have gone through my sleeve and i noticed that it's uh, accurate there is no excess so that is why you see me start the pinning from the uh, side to meet to the midpoint okay so if you're not sure of that don't do it okay so now that i'm done pinning um my sleeves to my body so i have pinned the two sleeves together so this is how it's looking like okay so i will go back to my sewing machine now so that we can join it with 0 0.5 inch allowance all right we are going to do this together so come with me so right now i'm on the sewing machine now i'm going to start now by joining my sleeve okay I'm going to start by joining my sleeve to my body with 0 0.5 inch allowance. Just like I said, if you're not sure that your sleeves is not a equal to your armhole line, okay, if it's not equal, start your joining from the shoulder joining, okay, from the midpoint of the shoulder joining, start it from there. But if you're sure that your sleeves and your shoulder or your armhole cut is equal, then start the joining from the side to side, just like the way you see me doing here, okay? So instead of us going back and front to the cutting table and back uh, to the sewing machine, I'm just going to remain here to join this side, okay? After I was done, I give it a good press and then I pin down this side. So I'm going to start now by joining this side together, okay? After joining your sleeve, 
then you're going to pin the both sides so that you can close down the side of your bodice okay to turn it to a, a dress or a gown or a jacket or a top okay and you're going to start your journey from the from the bodice okay i'm starting it from the side the bodice that is from my waistline then take it all the way to my sleeves okay in that case whatever access uh, access that remain from your from the sleeves you can easily trim it off okay so yes that is what you should take note of okay now that i'm done now i'm right back on my ironing table i've also gone ahead to give it a good press and also i have fold in my hemming part okay i fold in my hemming part so let me show you what i actually did okay so for the hem i fold in twice and then i iron and pin it down okay that is why it is here so now the next thing we are going to that remain now for us to do here is to work on the neckline okay is to work on the neckline and uh, the side okay the center front you need to fold the center front so uh, i'm going to go to my sewing machine to stop stitch the hemming part first okay before we come back i'm going to go and stop stitch it then i will be back so i have gone ahead to stop stitch it so the next thing we're going to do now is to find the um, the distance from where our strap is going to stop and where you're going to fold as you can see this part here one of the side i have already gone ahead to uh also fold in twice and pin down so now it's ready to go and stitch but before we do that so to know where the distance between where your folding is going to stop okay from the midpoint of your center back okay from the center back you know the the width of the neckline was three inches okay so now from that three inches point i'm going to mark down five inches so that means the total um the total is eight inches okay so from that five where i mark the five inches to stop i'm going to pin that part down so from that part now i will know that okay when i'm going to fold this this is the part the point where i'm going to stop okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to fold in again okay as you can see i'm folding it with zero the first fold is 0 0.25 okay make sure you can be able to fold in with 0 0.25 for your first fold okay you're going to first fold 0 0.25 and then you fold it again okay so that is what i'm doing here so you are going to take this part uh take your time on on this split on this part because it was a bit difficult for me when i was working on here because the shape was not really that straight shape that you can just easily work your way out it was a bit curvy okay so it was a bit difficult for me to uh actually um get the fold right okay so you're going to take your time here make sure you have your pin nearby so when you're folding it you're going to pin it and if you can iron it i don't have a nipper light so i was not able to iron so that is why it was a bit stressful at this again so once i'm done with this pin now um i will head back to my sewing machine so as you can see okay when i'm going to stitch it i'm going to correct all this fold that you're seeing okay so i will go back to my sewing machine i will stop stitch this part okay and the same thing i'm also going to do for this side whatever thing i'm doing for the other side i'm doing on the other one so i have done uh stop stitch this side okay so the side is ready as you can see okay so now the side is ready the next thing we're going to do here is to i'm going to get my bias and then to use it to pipe in the neckline okay find the midpoint of your bias okay so once you find the midpoint you're going to place it the right side facing the right side on the midpoint from the center back okay the center back is your midpoint so you're going to place it for the midpoint of the center back there and i'm going to pin it all the way I will pin it and stop at the point where that folding stop okay i hope this explanation is clear for you to follow up i hope you you are getting it okay if you if you don't understand it you can rewatch this video again so that you get the the picture clear or understand what i'm doing okay but if you still do not understand it feel free to join my whatsapp um uh, my whatsapp uh, uh, group so you can lay all your complaint on my whatsapp so i will get the chance to 
look through your complaint okay i'm going to leave the link of my whatsapp uh, group on this on the description box so that you can also um join join the group if you want to okay so now that i'm done pinning it as you can see i pin it and i stop at the point where that folding stop okay so this is how it's looking like okay i stop at that point where that fold stop okay so i'm going to go back to my sewing machine and stop stitch it all the way and also stop at this the other point okay so i have done um stop uh, stitch this uh the bias to my neckline okay so the next thing i will do here is to fold in again okay to cover up the rough edges okay so if you follow up exactly from the explanation that i give if you follow up when you get to this point you should understand exactly what you should do at this point okay if you follow up you are going to get to this part you will understand it okay so i'm going to fold it back like so and then i will pin it okay So once I'm done pinning like this, when I will go to my sewing machine, as I'm joining it, I'm going to also stitch the bias all the way to the end. So yeah, that is what you should know. So if in case if you are confusing that, how are you going to do with the bias and the bias is left open? Don't worry. When you get to the sewing machine, as you're joining, joining it like you're stop stitching it again, you're going to stick the stitching all the way to the end. Okay. So I'm going to go to my sewing machine now so that i can stop stitch it i will be back okay so i have done stop stitch it so this is how it's looking like so what remain now is the sleeves okay the sleeve the hemming uh, from the hemming side i'm going to fold it like this okay just like i did for the front fold in twice and pin so you go back to the sewing machine to stop stitch it all right so i hope you enjoy watching this video i hope you 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 will be able to recreate one for yourself. I, I won't mind if you send me your recreation. I want to see if you actually do that. Okay, so yeah. And uh, if you're new to my channel, if you're yet to subscribe at this moment, please kindly subscribe. And then don't forget to turn on your post notification so that you get notified when another tutorial will be dropping. Okay. I have another cute tutorial, that, a top that I want to I want to do after this. I'm going to drop that tutorial soon. So I hope... <laughs> I hope you will like it so you will see you will see it at the end of this video okay so the picture of the the top that i'm going to make is at the end of the video so make sure you watch to the end so that you will see it and uh, yeah also help me share this video please help me share this video to your friends to your soulmates who are yet to discover my channel so please let me do that and uh, thank you so much for doing that so yeah so now that i'm done pin the hemming okay that is the sleeves i have also already stop stitched the side so there's remaining this one so i'm going to go and do that so guys we are coming to the end of the tutorial so this is the final result and you're already seeing it on my bodies okay so for the front you can decide to add button okay so that you can be able to wear either top or a jacket but if you don't want, you can leave it like this, okay? This is how the original design is, okay? So, um, my next tutorial, here is my next tutorial that I'm going to be posting, like I said. So, if there's something that you're interested on, stay tuned. Turn on your post notification so that you'll get notified when it will be available, okay?